if you were to ask me what the most classic coding interview problem was, I reply with the one we're going to solve today. It's been asked in Microsoft, been asked in Apple, been asked in Amazon, been asked in Facebook, been asked in Oracle. It's been asked everywhere. It's a standard question. And today we're going to tackle it. Right here, we've got missing no. It's a Pokemon reference in case you don't know. You are given an integer n along with an array of n minus 1 numbers in the range 1 to n with no duplicates. One number is missing from that array. Find that number. Input is n and integer. ARR, the size, an array of size n minus 1. Output is the number that's missing. Yeah, you can have a look. 4 is the input. So the array is of size n minus 1, remember. So it's of size 3. This is our output. It's really simple. Doesn't need much explanation. Here we can see 4, 1, 2 is the array. Since n is 4, all the numbers from 1 to 4 are 1, 2, 3, 4. We've got 4, 1, and 2. So the missing number is 3. Pretty straightforward question. 3 is the missing number. So we've got to list the numbers from 1 to n. One of those numbers is missing. We've got to find which one is missing from the array. Let's have a look at the constraints. 1 less than or equal to n less than or equal to 1000. 1 less than or equal to ARR of i less than or equal to n. And all elements in ARR are unique. These are pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory constraints. I'm not going to get into them. I'm going to leave the screen open though. And this time we're going to change things up a little bit. I'm going to give you a clue straight away. That clue is, it's not a straightforward solution as you might have guessed. The time complexity is going to be bigger of n regardless. And you can probably come up with a lot of different methods to solve it in that time complexity. What we want to do is reduce the space complexity. We want to solve it using just one variable or maybe two variables. The space complexity of big O of one is what we're aiming for. So let's try solving it that way. And we'll get back to it shortly. It's time for your clue. The mathematical formula you're going to need to use here is something that's familiar to most of you. 1 plus 2 plus 3 up until n terms is n into n plus 1 by 2. It's a very important math formula and interviews will expect you to know it. The sum of n, n numbers starting from 1 and ending at n is equal to n into n plus 1 by 2. You're going to have to use this formula to solve the question. So guys, let's solve the question using the formula we just discussed. Now we know 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 is equal to n into n plus 1 by 2. In this case, n is 4. So that's 4 into 5 by 2, which is 10. Now we're going to iterate through our array and add the individual elements. So once we iterate through the array, we get 4 plus 1 plus 2. So our output is 7. Now do you see where this is headed? I think you do. All we have to do now is subtract the first result from the second result. Why? Because we know the first result is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. And we know our second result 4 plus 1 plus 2. Now if we cancel 4 and 4, 1 and 1, 2 and 2, we'll be left with a result of 3 naturally. So if we subtract this 10 from this 7, our result is going to be 3 straight away. So we use the formula 1 plus 2 plus 3 arbitrary n terms is n into n plus 1 by 2 to calculate the sum of n terms. We calculate the sum of everything in our array. We subtract those two sums to get our final result. That's the general algorithm. Let's get into the coding bit of it. Here we can see the code. Super simple. This, this is the main thing. This little for loop right here. Apart from that, there's not much to do. So first what we got to do is Calculate the total sum n into n plus 1 by 2. Then we've got to calculate the sum within our array, which will be stored in reserve array sum. We iterate through our array. Remember, our array has only n minus 1 elements. And we just add each element to array sum. Finally, it's a simple matter of subtracting the result from array sum to get our final answer, which we return. Let's see if it works. Compile and test. Sample test cases pass. Once we hit submit, we can see. That our solution has been accepted, then in meager 0.1 seconds, right, you will have cracked the question in your interview. 
Vivek, Vivek, guys, this is a simple yet classic problem. I'll repeat again. So make sure you know how to solve it. If you like the video, like, subscribe, bell icon. You know the drill. I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye.